right, uh, welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. Apologies on that little cliche, but yeah, let's move along. The University of the Free State, SRC, have proposed to, uh, to the varsity management to have the statue of the former president of the independent Orange Free State, Martina Stein, to be removed. The SRC feels that the statue situated in front of the Bloemfontein main campus building uh, does not represent the values of the university as well as those of the students. Our reporter, Apumule, Mdalani is at the university this morning for us. She's standing by with the SRC president. But just before you have that conversation with the SRC president, Apumelele, um, the SRC demands, they are sort of, you know, in the same lines with what the MEC of Sports and Arts uh, uh, and Culture in the Free State was basically saying that the provincial government is looking at removing all the offensive names and um, landmarks. Talk to us about that. Oh, a very good morning to you, Palisa, and also to the viewers at home. Indeed, uh, in f I'm just standing in front of the former president statue, which is Martina Stein. The statue was erected in, um, in 1929. We can say that the statue is almost having 89 years since it's been erected in front of the main building. As you can see behind me, it's also a main building. The statue is just a few meters away from the main building. And we know that there's been uh, tensions with regards to the statue of the former president of independent independent of the Orange Free State. They've been been saying this, this there have been re tensions about it and now the SRC has proposed to the management saying that the statues of course it doesn't bring uh, values to other students while other students have a different opinion about the statue saying that it symbolizes their culture, it's a heritage site but uh, all I can say just right now we've, we've been talking to the SRC president we've been hearing the views he's been telling us that before they proposed this matter to the management it's all because that the students uh, they've been coming through to the SRC saying that the statue needs to be removed we will also understand that not long ago around 2016 um, there was a statue that was removed here it was a CR Swart statue it was removed illegally other than like the, now this one the SRC has proposed and also will be following the legal procedure as to wanting the stage the statue to be removed but the CR Swart stage we know that it was removed when there were just racial uh, tensions and also racial issues within the campus we also know that there was a, a Shimla Park incident where there was the racial tensions and just behind me as you can see uh, Balisa you'd see that there's also students just uh, just as exactly next to the statue these are the SRC uh, members they also came just to support the SRC president as we will be talking to him right now uh, um, good morning to you, Asive. Good morning, Sisi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, you. You proposed to the management that you want the statue to be removed. Of course, this is not the first attempt. You are the SRC president, but even previously, there's been incidents whereby the, the, the SRC wanted the statue to be removed. Why do you think the statue now, it's time now that the statue needs to be removed? Mm, thank you so much, Sisi. Uh, I think uh, we've been calling for years for the statue to be removed. Uh, it has been a continuous struggle and attempts to get the statue removed. We believe that the statue of uh, the former uh, president of the Orange Free State, uh, uh, President Stein, has no place at the University of the Free State, but more so that the statue has no place, uh, has no place in a society in South Africa. You see, the statue of President Stein represents everything that, uh, everything that brings shame to us. It, it, it brings... It celebrates a history that we are ashamed of. You will understand that the statue of President Stein was erected back in 1929 by the, what then the Afrikaner student bond. A bond. Now, a, 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 I, I like to say that we commend the students of 1929 for erecting the statue because they erected something that was in line with the values that they embodied as a student body. 
Right now, we've got a student body and we've got a society that embodies completely different values. Statues are not places of shade. Statues are places, statues are monuments of celebration. What do we have to celebrate in the person of President Stein? What do we have to celebrate in one of the co-founders of the Nationalist Party, who would, would, which would ultimately, uh, 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 which would ultimately lead us to apartheid? This represents nothing but a, 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 a but a sense of shame and a sense of pain. Also, Sisi, you must understand that this statue here, if this statue is not removed, you are ultimately denying us our existence in the space. You are saying we must be subjected to the wishes and the desires of students, of the Afrikaner students of 1929. You are saying that those, those are the values. We do not embody those values. It is, based, it, it is on those bases. Of course, there are many other things. Why? Uh, uh, but primarily those bases that we say the statue cannot remain where it is. And we'll do absolutely everything that it takes to see that the statue of President Stein is not at the University of the Free State. Asive, of course you are representing uh, the students, but of course the students who have been coming forward to you, they have uh, different views about the statue and also in terms of having the statue to be removed from the campus, there are procedures that need to be followed. How far are you willing to go as to make sure that uh, the statue has to be removed? Uh, number one, uh, 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 the majority of the students want the statue to be removed. As I said, eh, 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 it is only a few racist minority. We will say it's a racist minority because the heritage that is represented by the likes of President Stein is a racist past. So the preserving of President Stein and such a heritage is the preserving of racism. It boils down to that. Uh, on the issue of the processes, we have assumed the legal route. Uh, the, the, there are prescriptions that are made in the heritage in, in the heritage act as to how do we deal with such monuments. This is ca classified according to the heritage act as a fr as, as, as a provincial monument. So uh, uh, of course, there are processes. One of the most prominent processes of the process is that of hiring a, a, an independent consultant and uh, undertaking what is known as an HIA heritage impact assessment, which is basically really uh, to consult all relevant and interested uh, uh, stakeholders to make submissions as to the future of that particular monument. Now, which also takes me to my uh, other point to say, we are not scared of consultation. We want, we want people to come, in fact, and add their views uh, 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 from whatever corners, from even the, uh, any corners to come and, and present their views. We are absolutely confident that after all those views and consultations, we will be, we will have the statue removed because we know any, for anyone to protect this statue is, is anyone who is ashamed of the democratic country and the democratic society in which we have now because there is nothing democratic we have to cut about the statue. For, uh, due to time constraints, of course, but I think we have the gist of what the SRC president uh, is basically saying regarding their request for the removal of uh, the statue of uh, the former president of the independent Orange Free State, Martina Stein. That's the statue that you find right in front, the main campus in Bloemfontein. All right, we're taking a quick...